Good morning. How you doing this morning? Well, sir, it's a good looking Sunday morning, a great day to be alive in the Lord. We call it a sensational Sunday morning. <laughs> indeed delighted to be sharing the good news this morning. B.B. already declared it. It is about our Lord Jesus, our gift from God, who keeps on giving and in order to save us, in order to save the day because of love. The Lord Jesus at the Father God's uh, direction, according to his purpose and plan, uh, that he, he allowed himself to be harmed. He the Lord is to save us in order to save the day because of love. He put himself in harm's way. Well, friend, he saved the day. Yes, he did. He came through. Uh, that's what uh, one song says. That's what superheroes do. But he's so much more than a superhero. He is the king of kings and he is the Lord of lords who came into this world. The world did not know him. He was in the world. He had made the world, but the world knew him not. John chapter 1, verse 10. He came to his own. His own did not receive him, but to as many as did receive him, to them he gave the power to become the sons of God, to as many as believed on his name. Well, I invite you this morning to be with us at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, 5650 Sanderson Street, Northwest, right here in Huntsville, Alabama, 35805 at the Connect Center as we're going to continue unpacking our teaching series, uh, The Unity of the Faith. Now, last week, uh, Sunday, we talked about walking worthy of the vocation to which we are called and that the high call of God that unifies us is embracing the Lord Jesus because in embracing him, as I just shared from John chapter 1, verse 12, we are given power to become the sons of God. And here's the thing about us is we become and are sons of God, singularly he being our father collectively. That means that we are related to one another. Not only can do we relate to God, but we are related to one another. Here's the thing. You cannot be in relationship with the true and living God and not be in relationship with me if I also am in relationship with the true and living God. And at that, that's true of every person who has a relationship with the true and living God. Then we are all related. He is our father and he is our daddy. And that's what Jesus came to do to give, make us sons like himself. Here's what the scripture says in Romans chapter eight. He says that Father God sends the spirit of sonship into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. And that since we are sons, then we are heirs, joint heirs together with Christ of our Father God. So then we are put on the same standing and footing with Christ through Christ. And as such, we become heirs with him of our Father God. Now, as heirs with him of God, that means that all that God appointed and assigned him to, you and I now share together with him. That's why when he got up in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 19, he got up and he says, all power in heaven and earth have now been are now in my hand. I've got the keys of death and of hell. And then he turned to his disciples who had believed on him and had become into sonship as heirs together with them. And he said, now you go into all the world and preach the gospel, begin to declare the good news about my coming and what I have done and why I have come, that you might make other disciples who also will come into sonship status just like you 
and become heirs together with me of Father God. See, I'm talking about the unity of the faith that's beyond religious obstacles and things that separate and divide us to empower us in what we are made to be. Jesus said those this about those who believe and would know that he is the son of the living God in Matthew 16. He said, on this rock of revelation and understanding, I will build my church, those set apart and called out to me. And he said, I will build my church. He didn't say uh, 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 many churches, but my church. And he says, that church, which I build, the very gates of hell shall not ever be able to stand or prevail against it. Man, that's awesome. That's powerful. When we understand that, my God, my goodness, we will wreck and push and dismantle, destroy, tear down, push back, resist, cast down the gates of hell and all of its violence, its prejudice, its racism, uh, its hatred, its division, all the things that it takes to, keep, to bring into this world to divide and conquer and destroy and undermine what God made us to be together as his family in this world. Friend, we have a high calling of God. May we understand that, yes, it's about our salvation and our relationship with God, but God has a much bigger plan for us. And Jesus described it. It's the building of his people, his church, uh, together as one, such that we uh, carry out his great commission and assignment. As we uh, make disciples of men and we push back, destroy, cast down all the gates of hell would do, all the things that he would come to do to kill, steal, and destroy, that you and I have the power. We are given the authorized instruction of Christ himself, the King of kings and Lord of lords, the head of the church, uh, to carry out this assignment. Know this, though, that a house divided against itself shall never be able to stand. May we understand these things and so understand what our calling is and that may we walk it out. Hey, this has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected.church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosion Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day where the dream of change remains alive. And Jesus, our joy, knowing this together, 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 you and I, we are the difference that makes the difference as we are awakened to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilized to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this sensational Sunday morning, Pete. Well, you nail on the head and they call it your pastor. He has <laughs> a very fine job. Uh, that message this morning, man, that was a great message. And we look forward to talking to you again in the morning, Lord willing, with a never Christ in action broadcast. Yes, sir. Well, have a sensational road to faith Sunday and keep on doing you what you're doing, keeping us in the house with good gospel music and encouraging words. We're going to do it, Pastor. Have a great day. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. All right. Well, hey, Law, we, we just, again, we we love to connect with you. Let's, let's uh, assemble ourselves together as that day is approaching and more and more considering one another to provoke to love and good works. Meet us at 5650 Sanderson Street, Huntsville, Alabama, 35805. Right here, we're in a, 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 near the new Mid-City District Development, the old site of Madison Square Mall, where the new Mid-City City Development, amazing development is going on. So we're just west of, of the south end of Mid City District on Sanderson. A great landmark for you is Sam's Club. And uh, if you're in the, the parking lot of Sam's Club, if you look up on the hill, you'll see the Connect Center. And uh, we'll meet you right there at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, is where we start with praise and worship to our God as we rejoice in Him and rejoice always, giving thanks to Him in all things and blessing his name 
and we have a great time of fellowship uh, in the word. My commitment and my wife Ramona's is that we will feed you as pastors after God's own heart with knowledge and understanding for your life. So come join us. It's our personal invitation to you and your family. If you're looking for a place to fellowship, to be involved and grow with us uh, in, in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus, then we love to connect with you. Of course, we're also online if you're not able to be with us in person at 1015 a.m. Central Standard Time at Connected Church on YouTube and we'll be on Facebook and uh, we're streaming live and you can catch the word of God right there. We'll get a chance to connect and pray with you. All right. Remember this always. God loves himself from you and we do too. You matter to God and you matter to us. Go ahead and have a sensational Sunday. It's the Lord who made the day. It's the Lord who made you. You're here today. You're authorized to have a sensational Sunday and do it on purpose. Bye bye for now. Look forward to seeing you in a couple hours. Until then, we love you.